Hey Taylor, it's Monday. It's also the first week of summer, so yay, first week of summer. You did real good on your finals, or your classes, so congratulations. Good job making the Dean's List. Uh, <laughs> now you can tell exactly when this video was being recorded, if you couldn't already tell by the fact that I said good afternoon. Or did I just say, hey, hey Taylor? I don't remember. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, first week of summer. You did really good on your classes. At least this is the first week of summer to everyone who's a college student. High school students, you guys still have a little bit. Actually, anyone who's in grade school still has a little bit. But I'm actually going to talk about one thing today. Overprotective people. Strangely, not from my own family. My own family said the same thing everyone else has said, basically. And I'm gonna, it's gonna be my leg that I'm talking about. The two or three weeks ago when I fell off a cliff, I landed, uh, dislocated one leg and strained the other muscle. I got really lucky, because that's all that happened. Uh, aside from a few minor cuts from the foliage on the ground. Uh, I didn't run into a cactus, I didn't run into a, a boulder, just fell, heard the pop of my leg, got back up and continued walking. I was, what, four miles in on a ten mile trail and just kept walking. Spent the next day walking. I really had no issues with it. Uh, since then, there have been multiple doctors, two to be exact, uh, multiple nurses, about five. That one I'm not real sure of. Uh, as well as uh, I went, I caved in and went to the campus clinic of Thursday or Wednesday after classes. Uh, basically, because that's free, aka I've already paid for all that with my tuitions. And, uh, Although I don't trust campus doctors or campus nurses, I do did need to see a actual quote unquote physician, uh, just to verify that everything the other doctors were telling me was correct. Uh, and basically, it was all according to all of them, all the symptoms I gave them, the pain levels I gave them, when it was being aggravated, when the pain was backing off. It all led to, I had strained my upper uh, thigh. Just strained it. Uh, possibly pulled, but either way, nothing I could really take medication for except for a muscle relaxer. It was something that time would have to heal. Story of my life. Uh, I've had multiple injuries that only time could heal. Which I was okay with. All of them also told me that there was no point in getting an x-ray uh, from the area that was in pain to when the pain was being triggered it all pointed to a sprain an x-ray would only reveal if there was something wrong with the bone itself an MRI would one be way too expensive and two would probably just reveal the same thing that they just did it was a sprain so what I was told was Stay off your leg for as long as you can. Get about miles walk in a day, just to make sure that the muscle is still working, and take a muscle relaxer a day. Two of those three I've been following. Considering I'm not a fan of actual medication, I can probably you can probably guess which one it is. Though the pain is only like real bad at when I have to end of my walk after I've run it, but it never gets over five. It only ever got a seven to a seven when I <laughs> jumped over a fence and landed on my leg. Which is one of those duh moments. Why did you do that? Which the answer is I followed my teacher. Uh, so yeah. Everyone says the same thing except for one nurse. And this is where I was getting at. One nurse has been insanely overprotective. Every time I come into work, she asks me how my leg's doing. 
and I tell her it doesn't hurt until about a mile or two into walking. Uh, sometimes shorter than that if I'm exerting myself. And she tells me I should go see an actual doctor and get an x-rayed or MRI'd or, you know, getting checked for more complicated problems because it could affect my back or it could uh, go down and I would have to amputate my leg. And it's gotten to the point where I just don't tell her anything anymore. Uh, the nurse is a lovely lady. I love her. Uh, she's a little overprotective. It's a little annoying. Especially when, like, if I asked mom or dad the same question, it would be, what do you think you need? Well, I have been told, and I don't think I need anything more than what they told me. Okay, go with that. This is not exactly what they said, because I don't think I've even asked mom or dad. But this is, that's normally what they say when it comes to anything like that. What do you think you need? Now at the time, I want, to, well right now, I want to follow the other orders until I know something's not healing. Which is normally how I do things. And not be overprotective of my own body, because I know my body can heal itself. I just gotta give it the time to. Anyways, your word of the week is going to be protectiveness. Or protective. Up to you. And I'll see you on Friday. Congratulations once again. Hasta Venus.